hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is michelle today we will be making this cropped blazer if you're interested in knowing how i achieved it please make sure you keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will first mark my standard line or a basic line and then i will mark my shoulder to shoulder measurement and also mark my neckline depth From my shoulder measurement, I will come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. That line, I came down by one inch and then I connected the lines. From my neckline, I went down by 17, so that will serve as my back line. And then I marked a line across that will serve as my, as my waist line. From there, I will mark my waist measurement and add one inch for my... My underarm measurement is 9 inches and I will mark the point and from there the line that dot will serve as my bust line and I will connect my dots so that I will know what I'm doing. I hope you are following what I'm trying to do here and I will mark that line as my bust line and my waist line and then I will go on the shoulder line and mark 7 inches and how did I get hold of 7 inches I divided my bust by 6 and added 1.5 inches and then I got my and my armhole line now what I'm doing I will find the sense of my armhole and I will come in by half an inch and then I will create a cave there to give a shape to my armhole and then I went on to connect all my dotted lines and then I added one inch for my sewing allowance. I went back to my waistline and find the center there so that I create my dots. Remember, for my dots, I left one inch. So I marked half inch, half inch, and then I went up. The length of my dot is six inches, and then I connected all those dots. So now I'm going to cut off this, and it will serve as my back pattern. remember we are creating a blazer so i added two inch on my f on, on 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 my pattern and then i put on my back pattern so that i trace the whole thing and i went on to mark all the lines that i've traced If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, to subscribe and comment down below. I traced all back my points so that I would see what I was doing on my front end. On my neckline, because this is a front, I came down by 3 inches and then I also went on and get my center and marked by half an inch and then connected my lines to give my armhole a shape.
and now we'll be creating a sleeve i first marked my standard basic line and then came down by five inches it's up to you whether you come down by 4.5 or 5 inches and then i marked my sleeve length what i did i also went on my basic line and marked four inches there i marked four inches and also i came down by half of my bicep measurement and then i marked a center between the line of a bicep and the basic line and i marked a point there and then i went on to add one inch for my sewing allowance on my bicep and then i used my curve ruler to connect my dotted lines i went on on my sleeve on the bottom what i did i added one inch for my sewing allowance and then i connected my lines and that was our sleeve for today now we have all three of our patterns the front and the back of the bodice and also our sleeves i realized that my pattern were longer than how they were supposed to be so i took down two inches from the waistline and then i fold over so that i get the length of our bodice pattern that i need I'm checking the length yes it is what I need so now I'm taking my patterns on my fabric to cut it off these are all my pieces front and back and sleeve cut off and also I went on and ironed my violin on my front both sides the left and the right hand side I took all my pieces and put on the darts on the back, on the front, and also on my lining pieces. And then I realized that my neckline was not enough. It seems too small. And then I went on to extend it a little bit. And then after what I did, I took on my sleeve and placed it on my main top. And then I went to my sewing machine to put it together. I've put on all my pieces together. Now I will take it back to my sewing machine and close it off on the side and the sleeves. After I finished putting all my pieces together, I went back to my table and here yeah, I marked the length of my neckline of which it was 16 divided by 2, it is 8 inches, I marked it and then the length of my collar was 3 inches wide so I marked down all my lines and then I came up from the by 2 inches up and two inches in and then I draw a line across to give me the shape that I need for my collar I went on to cut the pattern and took it on my fabric and then I cut it off also As I was cutting my collar pattern, I left um, half an inch sewing allowance. I went on to iron my violin in it and then I took it to my sewing machine to sew it.
I took it to my sewing machine to put on my pieces together. I took on my main fabric or uh, a blazer and then I marked the two inches I left for my flapping when I was making the pattern and then I marked a notch line in the center of my back so that I'll be able to put on my collar the way that it's supposed to be. Now I am pinning it all together and I would first take it to my machine like like so before I put on the the lining part so that it will intact together. I'm done putting my pieces together. Now I'm taking the main, the lining part, and then place it on the main part, and then that will give me a clean finishing. I'll close off now the whole thing so that it gives me a clean finishing. Now you can see that there's some life going on there. There's some life coming out. So now I'm taking it back to my sleeves and I cut them a little bit like two inches off so that it will give me a clean finishing once I close it off. And then I went back to close my bottom part. And off camera, I closed up everything and then this was our coat we were done if it happened you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like and to comment thank you for watching until this far thank you for your support thank you for your love that you are giving me my